so today I'm going to go over some footage. Uh, this is from uh, September of 2021 when we started the movie project that I'm currently working on with uh, a few people. Um, it's a full feature film called A Sense of Balance. And I'm going to break down each day of filming, kind of like have a, a log going through stuff that I, I can show and stuff that doesn't like give away the movie and just what we did for uh, setups and lighting. Uh, this one was shot like we, it was an early morning shoot. We got there fairly early. Um, it was one of those things where get everything set up, start rolling, going through like quite a few pages. Um, this was just a, a, a shot where the director wanted the two characters walking towards the camera out of focus, having some dialogue between the two of them and then slowly coming into focus. Um, this was shot at like 9 in the morning or so, so the light was really good. Uh, that we did get to some points during the day that um, we probably should have waited a little bit, but there was a time issue there, so it won't affect what we were actually doing with the footage, but yeah, like this one here. I don't have a color space transform on it, I'll put one on now. Like this is around noon, so it's not the not great to shoot at noon unless you're doing specific stuff. But with uh, with how the movie will actually be set up, it shouldn't affect any of the footage. We have quite a few other takes of it, but just a basic one of the basic shots of that. Um, oh, we got two of these in here. It's some fight sequences that took place later in the day under the trees. Yeah, this. Pretty sure he actually took a, a bit of a hit there, but that's what he wanted. That's uh, Tom, he's the director. Uh, Justin, who's the, the lead character there. And then in the sequence we got set up where there's a fight right by the car. None of this is actually edited for the movie yet um, we're, we're still waiting to finish principal photography at this point we do have a few more days of shooting we got one of the uh, the henchmen here catching the main character now all this uh, stuff here we, we did shoot with the a7s3 but most of it is shot with the fx9 uh, we shot ProRes and internal, dual record, just for redundancy, just because you don't want to have to, you know, if something went wrong with the media, you don't want to have to reshoot something later on, and stuff isn't exact as it was. Uh, but everything, everything's been fine with the media. I use SSDs and the SD cards or XQD cards on the FX9. We did some interviews at the end of the day. These actually came out really good. Um, visually, uh, audio wise, we ended up like redoing these in a different location, but, uh, they looked great. It's just the audio we had some uh, problems with just due to the fact that it was super windy out and it was, uh, it was kind of like a, uh, a setup where we weren't intending to film these, but it's something that I wanted to do so that we have a log of the movie and everyone, um, gets to talk about their characters and their involvement in the project. Uh, we got some stuff here. This is shot on the, I think the 28 to 135 F4 G, G lens, the Sony like uh, parfocal zoom lens. That one's a, a, it's a pretty good lens for a lot of different things. I was just using it here because we didn't have much time for different setups and it gave me different focal lengths. Um, easily and it's nice and sharp and the, the director wanted lenses that are very clinical and clean so the Sony G Masters work really well for that. We do have a few scenes with a, a vintage lens but we'll get to that another day. Yeah, we got one of the other actors here for interview. Super nice day, just super windy and people did put the, uh, the lab underneath their shirts just because 
everyone was tired after a long day of filming, but that's fine. We, as I said, we redid those interviews. Get some more stuff here. Uh, everything here is just a Rec 709 conversion. The movie's gonna have a different look to it, but just to show what we're actually filming. All this is still, a lot of the stuff the is shot with the tripod. We do have a bunch of stuff that's handheld throughout the movie and a lot of um, other stuff. Um, easy rig and different fight sequences because it is a, a pretty heavy action movie. We got some GoPro stuff, but mainly the Sony cameras. We got FX9, FX6, FX3, A7S3, and the GoPro um, for car sequences. But just to give you an idea what stuff looks like with the FX9, it's um, great camera overall. Uh, couldn't be more happier to use it when I get a chance to use it. It's um, kind of my go-to for certain things. And now, now I got the FX6 and I'll be using that a bit more, but just the FX9 is uh, kind of like the workhorse of a camera. Get some more stuff here. I did have somebody else filming with the A7S III this day too. Mike was helping out. He's running the, the B camera. It was the sequence that we had to do quite a few times, just kind of skipping through stuff, just not to give things away. Some more fight sequence stuff. A lot of this was fight sequence stuff this day. We had a random throw in for a VFX shot that we were testing out, but there's a knife that gets thrown at one of the henchmen. The uh, VFX shot that we'll have to have put together for the uh, shot. Um, I'm going to toss in some stuff here and there uh, for what the camera setups were and everything like that. But yeah, that's just a, a basic breakdown of what we used for day one of a sense of balance um, it's all natural daylight uh, we got a bunch of stuff that's shot in the studio that's all different lighting setups but I think I'll start from the first day as it's been a little bit over a year at this point so uh, if you have any questions about the gear or the setups or just questions in general leave comments down below don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll, I'll be seeing you all with another video in a few days here